everyone, this is Kim Becker with Arizona Football and joining me is two members from our special teams. We have Kyle Ostendorf, punter, and our kicker, Tyler Loop. How are you guys doing? Pretty good, how are you? Good. Doing great. Good, season just ended. These guys have some big stats at the top of the league. Kyle, fourth in the NCAA for average yards per punt. How'd you feel this season? Um, I feel pretty good. Uh, obviously, we still have a lot of room for improvement going into next year, but I think overall as a team, we had really good coverage all year as well with Seth, the long snapper, doing a great job. Stanley Berryhill at Gunner making five tackles this year. And then Bryce basically being the leader of the punt team at Left Shield. He did really well as well. Awesome. And Tyler, you're first right now on ESPN.com for field goal percentage. 12 out of 12. How does that feel seeing your name on ESPN? It's pretty cool. Um, it was kind of on the back of my mind for the end of the game. So it was nine for nine. I needed 12 kicks. Um, it was really exciting because kind of through the through the year, our operation with Seth and Jacob Meeker hacking and Holden got so smooth and so consistent. Um, just by the end of the year, there was no no doubt in our mind that we were going to go out and operate 100% and do the best we could for the team. Well, it's pretty cool. I mean, special teams has been doing really well this year, and that's something that I feel like some people kind of overlook that they don't really know a whole lot about football, right? They just think football or they think defense, offense, but special teams is such a key part to the whole operation. And we were just talking before we started this video. How do you practice as a special teams member? I mean, obviously you're not out there running all of the drills, you know, offense and defense drills left and right during the entire practice. But Tyler, when you come out here and you are kicking or you're just here every day for practice, how does that look for you? I think the biggest thing is for us is quality over quantity. Um, you know, we get out here early so we can have ample field space. Uh, and we spend most of our time just being as detailed as possible. Um, you don't want to try and do too much. You also don't want to just sit around and do nothing. So um, when you don't have space, it's finding little things you can work on because uh, everything for us is, is so small and uh, making sure that you're doing the best you can and getting the most out of everything. Do. Kyle, before you go out there and punt, whether it's you know practice or a game, what's kind of going through your mind when you go out there just to kind of get in the zone and make sure that you've got everything lined up? I mean, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of noise. You got a lot of people lined up in front of you. What's going through your head? So in a game, the only thing I really focus on is the snap mm -hmm. and where I want to put the ball. So if I'm on the left hash or if I'm punting left, I'm going to pick out a point that I want to punt to. So if I'm right here, I'd pick out a target, say 50, 55 yards away, and I'd make sure that I take my steps towards that target, my hips go to that target. Everything just goes towards that target and that helps with direction. It helps me put the ball where I want it to be so the coverage unit is able to make the tackle. Okay, do you see all of these big bodies coming at you in your peripheral vision? Kind of, but it comes really fast, so you don't really focus on it. The only thing I focus on is the snap, taking my steps, and I really watch the ball, so. Instead of focusing on everybody around me, I watch my drop and make sure my drop is perfect. Okay, well, speaking of your drop, Kyle, I see you in the weight room, whether you're walking to class, whether you're outside, you're always with this ball practicing. You've got it in your hands as you're going off the ramp in the weight room. Yeah. I mean, you are like nonstop every single day practicing this. So it's kind of a tradition I started this year, and I think it actually helped a lot when I started punting. And when I walk to class and I walk to different aspects, I'll practice my drop because as a punter, the most important aspect of punting is the drop. You can't have a good punt with a bad drop. So just getting thousands upon thousands of reps this year, practicing my drop has really helped to improve my average this year. Yeah, that's really cool. I noticed that a couple weeks after I got here that you were doing that and I was like, wow, he's really just taking advantage of every second of every day. Yeah, it's, it's pretty weird. I mean, I walked to class and sorority girls were asking what I'm doing. Like people are driving by staring at me. I look like a weirdo, but <laughs> it, it helps me. So. It paid off, right? Yeah. And Tyler, I saw you over there shake your head when I asked if you notice all the bodies in your peripheral vision. You don't notice either when no. you're doing your, kicking your field goals? Okay. No. I think it's kind of a thing for all specialists. Like when you're kicking, nothing else really matters. It happens for, too fast. Yeah. yeah. We only, I, compared to other players, we only have around one and a half seconds from the time the ball is snapped to the time our job is done kicking the ball. Yeah. So it's a lot faster than say holding a block, pass block for three, four seconds. All right guys. So now with that said, obviously I have a football here. I want you guys to kind of tell me how to punt because Tyler, I know you've also punted in your past, right? So you guys can maybe give me some steps. Is that okay? Give me some tips. Of course. All okay. right. So how do I start if I've never punted before in my life? So the main thing you want is, like I said, the drop. The drop. So when you the punt, drop. are you righty or left? I'm a righty. Okay, so you're gonna hold the ball in your right hand. Okay. And you're kind of go, bring a hand, go, give me a handshake. Boom. Okay. And I put the ball in your hand. Perfect. 
And now you see how the ball is flat right there? Yeah. You want the tip of the ball to be at 11 o'clock. So if there's a clock right here, it's like 12, 6, and then 11 o'clock is right here. Okay. You want the tip of the ball to be angled at okay. 11 o'clock like okay. that. Oh, the tip angled, I get it. The okay. tip angled okay. at 11 o'clock. Okay. And then when you drop it, yeah. you want it to drop flat. Okay. So drop it right now. Perfect. You see how it fell flat? Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Okay. So you just take your steps and you, you drop the ball yeah. as your left foot is passing your right foot. Okay. And then you just swing and punch it. Okay. Let's give it a go. Let's see it. Okay. Not bad. Oh. Not bad. Good oh. distance. Okay. Good distance. Good distance. Good distance. Height wasn't distance. really there. It's all right. It's all right. They're giving me a... For, first time. First out of 10, what are we saying? A 10 out of 10? Oh, thank you. All right. Oh, pfft. All right, Tyler Loop, who was also a punter, so he knows what he's doing, so don't compare mine to his. Let's see. He turned the ball over, and that's where you go for distance and hang time. When you're closer to the end zone, you want to do a little backspin punt, called like an Aussie punt, and that'll pin the ball deep and uh, help your team get great field position on defense. just sits down nice and easy. Ball on the five.